Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, this is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting, law of attraction, law of assumption, and mental health. So if those are your vibes, welcome. Now, today I'm going to talk about what happens when you manifest a specific person okay a lot of people have this question because they wonder like how is their person feeling what is their person thinking and what is going to happen in your 3d so if you want the answers to that make sure you watch all the way through to the end i normally like to drop huge nuggets by the end of the video okay if you guys haven't already hit the like the comment and the sub button do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when my videos post let's get into this guys so when you are manifesting your specific person they are automatically getting whatever downloads you are participating in. There's so many different ways to manifest and there's no right or wrong way. The only right way, as I tell all of my clients, is the, word, the way that works for you. So I always customize how I teach based off the person and what they have done, what their experience is with manifesting, and what they really need guidance on, all right? So it is essential. If you guys feel like you are lost and you're just not getting anywhere, definitely check out my coaching links. They are in the description below. I do offer coaching along with email coaching. So if you need some guidance with manifesting your SP, that is definitely the place to go, all right? When you're manifesting a specific person, it's important to realize that every belief system that you have is essential for your greatness. And what I mean by that is you wanna identify what your belief system is so that way when you are doing your manifesting process or starting your manifesting process, you don't have to worry about things not working out in your favor. Because when you manifest, it is an automatic like justified thing for you to understand that you are meant for big things. But the thing is, if you are not believing of that and you don't know really what your belief system is, but you feel it's not strong enough to believe that the law of assumption is real, then when you're manifesting a specific person, all you're going to do is waste your time and your specific person's time. Belief system is the key core thing when manifesting. If you don't believe it's possible, it's not going to be possible. So in order to open up a mind that has been conditioned to whatever society believes, it is gonna take some time for you to fully be able to manifest your specific person, but it doesn't have to take forever. I always tell my clients that you can change at any moment. So right now you can choose to say, hey, I strongly believe in the law of attraction and that I can manifest my specific person. When you're manifesting your specific person, the things that they're getting is whatever you are saying, whatever you're speaking into existence, whatever you're speaking into existence, whatever, whatever you're speaking into existence, whatever your belief system is, that is what is being created. So you have to ask yourself, what is my belief system? What is my subconscious mind constantly, consistently saying to me? These are the things you want to know about yourself because the more we get to know ourselves, the easier it is to manifest our specific person. So when you're manifesting your specific person, let's say your method is robotic affirming. Let's say you go through at least 10 minutes a day of all your affirmations. Everybody asks me, Kim, do you do your robotic affirmations specifically on one topic? And my answer always is heck no. <laughs> I do my robotic affirming with all of my affirmations and everybody's different. Some people want to focus on one thing. Me, I want it all. I have that kind of mentality. So I don't focus on one thing. I touch on every little thing I want in my reality. Now let's say robotic affirming is what you're doing. Every moment that you say my specific person misses me, my specific person loves me. My specific person is addicted to me. My specific person is obsessed with me. Every time you say that, you think that, you believe that is what creates. And so what the downloads are that your specific person is getting, I call them downloads. But other everybody calls it other different things. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is downloads. I'm like, these are the downloads that they're getting and they think they're coming from themselves. So when you say my specific person's obsessed with me, let's just say that's your go-to with all your robotic affirming. They're obsessed with me, they're obsessed with me, they're obsessed with you. Well, they're gonna do things that count as obsession. They're going to lurk on your page. They're going to ask friends about you. They're going to just think of you more. These are the things that happen and they think it's all them. They think it's coming from their mindset. They think it's coming from their thought process. But in reality, it's coming from you. It's coming from you. Now, let's say you're doing visualization or a meditation technique that involves visualization. When you're vis visualizing your specific person as if they're actually already there, you're already pretty much quantum leaping into the reality that you want. I think a lot of people forget how powerful meditation is. 
when you meditate in a state of, hey, I'm here with my specific person. My specific person is telling me everything I want them to tell me. My specific person is asking me on a date. My specific person is about to marry me. When you're in these state of minds in a guided meditation, what happens is your specific person starts to think because you're already doing a robotic affirming of obsession. Now you're doing meditations every day. So what happens when you meditate them is they actually feel your energy as soon as you do that. People keep forgetting that we manifest every day. So whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, you're always manifesting. And so what that means for you is that when you manifest, these downloads are always happening. So any thought that you have creates. And I think people forget that. There is a time delay, thank God. And I tell people that all the time because if everybody just thought a thought and it happened just like that, the world would be crazy, okay? But have you ever thought about your mom and you're like busy and you're at work and you're doing things and then out of nowhere, you're like, well, I wonder what my mom's doing today. Then out of nowhere, you get a call from them. That is how connected we are as a human race, okay? And so when it comes to your specific person, it doesn't matter what happened between both of you. You guys are you are you guys are connected, especially because you guys know of each other. You guys know of each other's existence. So yeah, you're connected. So if it works for your mom, if it works for your brother, what makes you think it won't work for you? It works for you as soon as you go into a guided meditation of visualization immediately. The reason why is because meditation is already a 5D kind of you're moving from state of mind. Theta state is very powerful as well. That's why people say in your state to kin when you're getting ready to go to sleep, if you're thinking about your specific person, that's the best time to do it because there's a lot less resistance and your mind kind of just accepts what you tell it at that moment. And that's why people always say, don't go to bed mad. Don't go to bed watching crazy movies. Me, I could go to bed with you know, a little true crime documentary. I'd be fine. But to other people, they may not be able to do that because they might have nightmares and things of that nature. But it's deeper than just nightmares. It's deeper than just protecting yourself from dreams. It's, it's, it's so much deeper because when you go into this 5D state on a regular, what you're doing is your, your person is feeling more and more drawn to you. They're getting more and more magnetized by what it is that you're doing actively every day to manifest them. And so the question that comes after that, when you're like, okay, what is my specific person doing when I manifest them? Now you have to answer the question, well, okay, when is there, when are they coming in? How do I know they're gonna come in? What are the signs? What does it look like? The signs that your specific person's coming in are gonna be subtle at first, but they eventually keep growing and growing and grow and growing the more that this habit grows for you. And so what I mean by habit is I tell all my clients, and I, I stick by this for myself as well, only thing in this life that really can be successful is consistency and discipline. And so I tell them this this perfect analogy as I always do. If you keep punching a wall, okay, eventually the wall is going to break. That's the same thing with anything. Like if I kept yanking at my necklaces, they would eventually break. The more pressure you put on something, the more likely it is to pop just like a balloon. And so what we have to realize is your manifesting is your balloon. You're putting the breath, the the air into the balloon from your breath. That is you actively manifesting daily. The more you put more breath into that balloon, the bigger the balloon gets. But if it gets too much air, it eventually is going to pop. And that is why people are always like, well, I'm manifesting, I'm being habitual. How do I know it's working? You know by, oh, you're a specific person liking your photo. If you guys are already on social media together, you're a specific person following you. You're a specific person watching your story. Like when I say subtle hints, that's what I'm talking about. But some of them are even less than that. Sometimes it's not always about direct contact from your specific person or your specific person liking a post. Sometimes it's just your specific person, um, saying something on their story about you or posting a picture about something you guys love in that you guys have in common. It could be just so many different things. And it could be even time. Like, okay, you're manifesting them and right while you're saying your affirmations, you look at the clock, it says 11, 11. Or you're over here thinking about them out of nowhere and it's 12, 12. Well, what's happening when I, I always tell my, my clients is that what's happening when that's going on is your specific person is probably thinking of you.
And that's not shocking because if you're actively being habitual with, habitual with your manifesting, there's no way to lose. <laughs> you're consistently doing something on a repetitive basis. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get your results. So stop doubting it. Stop uh, questioning the process. You got to know that you're powerful. You're meant for big things. You're enough. And yes, when you're manifesting your specific person, they feel that. And when you're in 5D state, they feel that. And they think it's coming from them. They're not over here like, oh, Shaquisha must be thinking about me. <laughs> no, Shaquisha is, is whatever thoughts she has, they're coming from her. Whatever thoughts your person's happening, it's coming from him, okay, or her. The, they think these are their thoughts. They don't think, oh, so-and-so must be thinking about me because I'm thinking about them. Like, no, they're just thinking about you as they always do. And that's why when it's quiet, I always tell people that means it's working because the quiet, the more quiet they are, the more you know that they're thinking of you because their silence says a lot. When somebody just openly can text you and talk to you and call you, a lot of times it means because there's no real connection there. They can open up to you, call you. It doesn't mean nothing but a thing to them. But somebody they really care about, somebody that you may have had a falling out of. Now, of course, guys, if you're in contact and they're contacting you, calling you and texting you, that's a good sign too. But what I'm saying is for the silence that you hear at that moment, that just means when you know you've been consistent and things just got quieter and quieter, that just means that they're having more thoughts about you. And they've always had thoughts about you. That's why they were quiet to begin with because these thoughts are familiar to them. It's not like, oh, they're getting these thoughts and it's just random out of nowhere. Like, no, they've already think of you a lot. They already love you. They already are addicted to you. They're already are obsessed with you. So when those thoughts and feelings just amplify, they don't think of anything of it. They're just like, I always think about her. I always think about him. What's new, you know? But the more you practice, like I said, manifesting, eventually the balloons pop, eventually the wall's gonna break. And you're going to be able to get in. You're going to be able to see the 3D results. So don't give up. Remember your power. Remember that you are completely capable of manifesting this person. So that should answer you guys' question on what is my specific person doing when I'm manifesting them. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Like the video. Sub to the channel. Do not forget to hit the gray notification bell so you know when my videos post. All right? Guys, if you haven't got the manifest everything journal you are definitely missing out in this journal there are very very powerful methods and affirmations that i use on a daily basis that help me manifest my specific person every single day okay so if you want access to these literal golden manifesting techniques go ahead and click the button below there should be a manifest everything journal get yours today they sold out really quick and i don't want you missing out so go get your journal so you can get access to that as i told you guys before if you need any coaching i am available you can book your time in the link descriptions below I have all that readily available for you guys. I do have email coaching as well. And if you guys haven't already joined the VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group, there you will get access to all 12 part series. You will get full access to all members only content. So we do lives Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, anywhere from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone. And in those lives, you can ask any questions you have about your specific person, about manifesting, and they get answered immediately. We also have powerful affirmations. We also have powerful affirmations. And in, with those affirmations, what happens is um, you guys get instant uh, access. We also have powerful affirmations. So with those affirmations, you'll be able to manifest quicker as well in that group. So if you have not joined yet, you definitely are missing out. So go ahead and click that link. You are not going to want to miss out, okay? So you guys, so much love, so much light, and until next time, bye.